yoga so i am isabel i never actually introduced my name but i thought i would do that today and basically today i'm going to be doing my makeup palette collection the reason i'm doing this video is because i always am interested to see what palettes people have i've watched a few makeup collection videos and i find they're too overwhelming too much makeup you don't find much about the product because you're just listing them and i have done one did one a while ago my makeup collection has obviously built up now and i'm still building it obviously so I just thought I would do a palette collection to make it more simple and you'd learn more about the products and they're not as boring as long and long so also if you guys would like to see like lipsticks and other makeup sections then please feel free to comment down below and I'm going to get straight into the video, let's go. So I'm actually going to do them in sections so I'm going to start off with eyeshadow palettes just purely because I feel like that will be easier for you guys to like understand and I'll move on to like face palette so I'm going to start off with the biggest so this is the biggest one and this is a I'm going to, I don't know if it will focus because I just put it there in front of my face, this is a I don't even know how you pronounce it but I got this on Amazon and I've had this to be fair not that long, probably about 6 months and it's like a fake Morphe palette and this cost me about 9 99 8 99 and don't get me wrong look at it's bigger than my face so it's not travel friendly but it is a really good cheap pigmented palette um, eyeshadows and I know it's not the best idea to always get cheap ones because sometimes they don't they're not very good for your eyes especially if you have sensitive ones like me but this palette is absolutely fine it's all shimmers no mattes and they're just like autumnal colours I don't really use shimmers that much because I prefer a matte look but you can see I've used this one and this one quite a lot I do love all the colours and I will hopefully get to use them eventually but yeah so this is quite big um, you get a little bit of product, they are really pigmented, so I'm just going to like, I mean that just looks like doesn't really do it justice, does it? I mean, if you look at my finger, you can't really see, they're quite powdery, so like you get a lot of fallout, but then that's what you get for getting like cheap palettes, like, I can't really, if you could see on my fingers, I don't know if you can, but yeah, they're really pigmented, and for £10, you can't really go wrong, it's got 35 colours, I think, so yeah, that's first palette. Then, the next palettes, um... So this palette was actually like my first eyeshadow palette, I have had it for ages, it's a 17 makeup eyeshadow and this is, I haven't actually taken the thing off the mirror, but these have some quite old fashioned colours I would say, and they're all shimmers, they're all like metallic, so it says day look and night look, I've had this for ages in all honesty, not really much to say about it, um, in all honesty, the, the colours and the pigment is not bad, like I'm not going to do another swatch of my hand, but these pinks and this orange are really lovely colours, so don't get me wrong. If you're looking for some really nice pinks, but I don't even think they do this palette anymore. And I just keep it because the pinks are really nice. As you can see, I've used them quite a lot. So yes, that's my 17 palette. And then moving on to my next one. This is a W7 In The City Natural Nudes Eye Colour Palette. Now this cost me 3 dollars I got it from TK Maxx, which is why it's cheaper. And these, that's the back and these are colours, these are really neutral, these are all mattes and that's what they look like inside now I don't really ever use this palette as you could probably tell it is, I mean the light colour, right I'm going to swatch that so that looks fine, they just disappear when you put them on your hand for example I'm going to try to put the darkest colour so that's on my hand and I'm just going to show you it on my hand okay that's not too bad because I put it over the other shimmer but pretty much they do just dissolve into nothing, that's my point. So if you want a cheap news palette that has got like some transition colours, then I don't know, I don't even think I do recommend it because for £4 I've got a better palette that cost one penny more for 3 99 and it's got so many more colours in, so I don't recommend this palette. I just personally don't like it, but if you'd like it, there's no problem. And then these are also um, dupes for the Urban Decay Naked palettes, I think next palette so next one is this is probably like my first proper eyeshadow palette because I didn't use to obviously when you should start with makeup you don't start off with eyeshadow straight away and this is the L'Oreal what is it even called Color Riche, Riche LA palette and this is in nude so this is in the actual shade thing is rose I think they do three different ones and that's the back and this actually is my most expensive palette. This little palette cost me £12.99. Um, but my mum actually kindly brought this one for me because... I don't know if you can even sit in focus. She kindly brought this one for me because this is when I first got into like eyeshadow 
and like rose golds because this is a very it's got a lot of it's got shimmers a nice range of shimmers mattes transition shades you can see how much i've used them and i use this as my go-to palette and i still really like it now i use these two for transition this one and this one to make it darker and these two for like inner corners and maybe that one for like the middle of your eye and i really love this palette still and it's really good for traveling because it's quite pigmented and if you're traveling and you don't have to take around a massive palette this is so easy to pop in your bag um and then my next palette is this one now this is definitely one of my favorite palettes so this is a makeup revolution ultra eyeshadows in flawless free resurrection there's 32 in here now this has really nice packaging ignore how dirty it is because i i do apologize for that but I've had it for a year, it is quite dirty. Probably had it over a year, in fact, I'm not too sure. This is one of my favourite palettes. So this cost me £8, I believe, and maybe £8.99. So, now, there's loads of good things about this. So, first of all, it has a massive mirror. I actually took this with me to Switzerland. It's really helpful because if you're travelling and you don't have a mirror, you can just take this palette and then you've got a mirror with you. So that's really helpful because it's always nice to have a mirror. Um, and I think that's the same with the last palette yeah and this also has a mirror but that's obviously a lot smaller you can't really do your hot face in that this is a really lovely size um basically the reason i got this palette was for the pinks because they're like pinks and oranges my favorite you can see how much i've used this palette in general this is really good to set foundation and eyelids prime your eyelids this is a really good transition color and so are the, these two. That's really good under brow highlighter. And then these ones are really good to use to deepen up the colour and the intensity. And then so are these two. And that's really good to make it a lot darker. So this palette is one of my favourites and it cost me £8. So, But the I think you get, you get 32 but these are a lot smaller. Like if you compare it to the one at the start they're a lot smaller. So that's this palette. Next palette. Now this is my last eyeshadow palette. And this is the, now straight away I'm just going to compare these, these are both Makeup Revolution, this is a lot heavier and the quality of the packaging is a lot more like, I'm here, hello look at me. Now this is a lot more simple but then this was half the price. This palette is the same price as this palette, can we just appreciate that? So obviously I've had this a lot longer than these have been out. These are the Makeup Revolution Neutrals 2. Now I have it in neutrals too and these aren't really neutrals these are all pinks and oranges and straight away the packaging isn't as nice as the other one but it's half the price and you get quite a lot of product in this because of their quite big squares but obviously you get less than the last one and this is just obviously the packaging is cheaper but if it's not really about the packaging obviously it's nice to look nice but it's very smart but i just like this because of the eyeshadows they're very pigmented these the colours are really lovely and this is a really nice shimmer, that's what I wore in this picture, I insert it here and I use these colours to like, these, this colour, this colour, this colour and this colour to make like the transition shade and then put this in the middle and that colour and this orange is amazing but I haven't really got around to making many looks with it this colour is also good but I've not had this for very long, I've had it about a month but I'm excited to use this in the future so as you guys can gather from what you've just seen, I really like my pinks and orange eyeshadows, rose golds, they're my favourite colour. Moving on to my next lot of palettes, I'm going to start with my sleep palette. So I have two little sleep palettes, so the first one is, this one which I actually got at Christmas and it's a contour one in medium, medium so it's got highlight and a contour very little very travel friendly for a highlighter the um it's got a nice little mirror too the contour is bigger than the highlight the highlight is really pigmented i'll just do i don't know if you can really see in all honesty no you can't i can't really i'm not very good at swatching things but this is a really good palette i think these these are quite expensive for what they are i think they're about eight pounds so i really recommend it but because um, sleek highlight is really good but then I don't know if I'd recommend it for the price because I think there is quite a few other highlighters out there that are a lot cheaper, like my Elf Baked Highlighter, which is really good. So that's that one. And the next one, now, I think I put this in my makeup products that I hated. And this is the Sleek Brow Pomade, and this is in light. And 
I used to hate this and it used to make my brows really gingery but it was because I used the brow gel so if I just use the actual pomade once I fill my eyebrows in with my not pomade sorry the powder once I fill my eyebrows in my pomade it only seems to be when I use that but still I'm not a massive fan of this because it does make them very ginger but maybe if you've got the darker shades it wouldn't be as bad I probably wouldn't recommend it for blonde blondes though moving on so now we're going to go into like contour and just face so this is an expat I've had this quite a while it's very light it's cardboard quite cheap packaging simple you could take it travelling. Now, this is Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour. I don't know if it's a medium or what it is. I think it's just a normal one. Now, obviously, Barry M have upped their game now. I know they have. I haven't done a video with their products yet, but I'm pretty sure they have upped their game. But I just always prefer them as a nail varnish brand, and I haven't really tried their newer stuff. So, I'm, and when I've tried this, I wasn't a massive fan. Um, but, obviously, I've used that a lot for, like, as a powder and for my face which is fine to set my concealer in that these bronzers aren't actually that bad but when I first got this palette I couldn't really use bronze that much and I'm still not very good at it so I mean I think this is, wasn't too bad I think I paid £4 for this but I've had it for ages so I have no idea in all honesty about this palette which I don't have much to say about because I don't use it really next one is another w7 product and this is their camouflage kit now i actually got this by mistake because i meant to get a, a, a like cream contour and i just got this one instead and it looks like this very dirty i've had ages and this was really cheap off amazon again and this is just the inside now they're like pinks and um creams i mean they're not really great colors if you ask me they're quite orange, they're quite thick, they're not like, you wouldn't want to cover spots with them because it would just make them clog up more and you certainly wouldn't want to, um, and I don't think you'd really want to use them as concealer because they just stick, especially if you have dry skin like me, don't recommend, but it was £2 so if it's cheap you can't really go wrong I suppose. The last two ones are pretty recent, I actually received them for Christmas from my friends. So this first one is the Makeup Revolution blush palette and I would probably say it's more of a highlighting palette because I use all the colours of highlight palette, I don't use them as blushes but obviously it's completely up to you what you use them for. So it's simple clear packaging and this is just what they are so there is eight is there eight there's eight shades so in all honesty i often use pinks for my like highlights because whites often wash me up so most of the time i use this color this color this color these three colors and then if i'm feeling like i want like a really out the highlight this white is amazing like i actually can't tell you i don't know if it will show up very well they're not showing up very well which is annoying on my finger but they are really pigmented and the white is like amazing and actually i use this as a bronzer and sometimes i use it as an eyeshadow color because it's quite a nice color and i put it just at the bottom of my eyeshadows or just to give me like some dimension in my eye i use it as like a transition shade and then won't put anything else on if I want like a simple makeup look and then this gold is really pretty too so I pretty much use all these colours but I haven't used this colour yet that's the only colour I haven't used so yeah I've not had this long as I said but I really like it so far and I use it in my everyday makeup routine so that's that one and the final and last palette is this Nip and Fab blusher palette so this is really cool i've never actually used any nip and fab products before so it's quite exciting because tabs actually got me this is quite exciting to use um so there's four colors and they are kind of mattes they're kind of shimmers they're kind of in between um so ignore how dirty the palette is so there's four colors there's flamingo cocktail whisper and velvet and i really like to slice this as well because it's quite nice um but the color i actually use the most is coincidentally velvet which is quite funny because you know i can't even lift my leg up when i'm like this low because i always have velvet on so pretty much always wearing velvet so this is my favorite color i haven't really experimented using any of the other colors but i've used a bit uh, i've used a bit of this one before but i definitely will in the summer because that's more a summer color but this color is my favorite color in the palette so yeah 
So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video, I enjoyed filming it and if you'd like to see more of these style videos please feel free to comment down below. This is all fully my opinion and if you guys really like a product or really don't like a product that I like then that's obviously your opinion but I just wanted to have a little chat about my palette and which ones I like and I don't. Um, obviously I intend to expand my palettes throughout the year but at the moment these are the ones I have. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!